This bulletin from the newsroom. Swarms of South American killer bees have been spotted crossing the border into California. Sightings have mostly been confined to rural areas. None have yet been seen in the more heavily populated areas. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron, and for today's video we're headed to the world of Last Epoch. Mike, one of the senior developers at 11th Hour Games, held his normal Friday Q&A live stream on Twitch, which means I get to bring you Dev Chat 70. As always, Mike answered lots of good questions and gave us three leaks for the stream. So we're not going to waste any time, we're going to jump right into this with our first question. Mike, what do you think about channeling abilities? Is there anything you can do to make them better? I feel like I haven't seen a channeling um, abilities question yeah, I mean, So channeling before. abilities are a really tricky thing to do because standing still is um, a dangerous prospect in general in, in an RPG. Like you almost you almost never want to be standing still for an extended period of time. Um, and so the, like the channeling abilities that let you also move warpath, cyclone, whirlwind, whatever you want to call it, is uh, inherently has a pretty big uh, leg up on the competition when it comes to channeling abilities in general. Um, we've, we've definitely... Well, we have buffed channeling abilities quite a few times recently, I think. Um, Stand down or die. But it's it's really hard to, uh, to put a price on the inability to move. Um... And and then there's another problem with the with the term viability. Like define viability. Define a viable ability. Um. I will say I do think they need to relook at channeling abilities. Right now I've kind of got a little something in the works, a elemental nova channeling version, and it's not going super well. But I understand the ability to move is very important. Now this is a good question. Uh, will the impending flat melee damage update include updates to explicit affixes on uniques? Uh, Eye of Reen, for example, has added melee fire damage explicit. Um, it can. I don't think it affects that one specifically. Uh, I could be wrong on that. Um, it's it's one of those things where every single unique we're looking at individual basis, whether or not we think it's worthwhile. If the um, damage type is there specific to synergize with part of the um another part of the of the unique but doesn't specifically synergize with another piece of but but it's not uh, specifically relating to a certain skill that already has a damage type associated with it uh then it'll probably stay i think is what it is it's it's a unique by unique basis Uh, do you happen to play Destiny 2? I don't. I've never played Destiny 2 at all. So I'm sorry, I can't, uh, I can't answer that one. Hang with it for I a know, second. Uh, there, there are lots of people on We're going to get an update and, uh, to that question. I'm sure lots would have interesting stuff on it, but sorry, I don't have anything. Um, Rhymer's like typing in Discord to me over here, and I'm like, he's going to finish typing one of these days, but I don't know what Thank it is. Thank you, Rhymer. Concerned. Like I said something wrong. Oh, never mind. He's just confirming what I said about Ivreen. Ivreen still has fire damage, um, but the implicit on Ivreen will change. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, Likely all the implicits are going to change. Was just talking about this question on my Patreon podcast. Listen to this. It drives me crazy. Uh, is it intentional that the character sometimes goes left after completing an echo? <laughs> um, no, always but goes it left. Is known why it happens. Always. Um, it's basically the entry point to the portal is listed as the last known movement position uh, when you go through the portal, and so you're always, and it's always to the left of where the echo world spawns. Um, so your character tries to just move to the nearest point uh, that uh, on on the island that intersects with that with that movement point where the where the zone was. So it always goes left. I'm sure it'll be fixed. It's it's, it's a bug. Let's hope so. 
Teaser number one. Go. Here is a little teaser of some, some content that's being added in next patch. Ooh, look at the spiky bees. Just little, little, little teaser stuff that's happening. See, now that they're showing this, I can say that maybe in the CT program, maybe you're going to see some stuff happening with bees. Ooh. This was talked about previously, but let's just reiterate around throwing skills. Loving your game. Quick question. Are you planning on changing hitboxes? Hammer throw often goes through spiders and such. Certain enemies not being able to take damage, but certain... Well, certain animations like the rat's mid jump. Yes, this has been addressed and is fixed for next patch. Um, we've implemented a new system for throwing abilities where they um, have two colliders, one for um, terrain collision detection and one for enemy collision detection. And so they, they do better in small, in tighter, tighter areas. Um, so they, they, exist a little bit nicer it still will like if it throws directly into a wall it'll still explode but you know, it's a little friendlier that way um and uh it's got a little bigger hitbox so it hits things like smaller smaller animals it, it hits easier um and then on top of that with regards to the mid jump question we've uh the, we we had a problem that required us to make things immune while jumping. Stand down. Um, and we fixed that problem for the most part. Well, we, we didn't fix that problem, but we, we um, found a workaround to it by um, making it so things can take damage while jumping and their health can go to zero while jumping, but they can't die until they land. So they'll, um, they'll like die in midair, but they'll still finish the jump and then they'll drop gear once they land. Um, so you can kill stuff in midair now. Well, you will be able to next patch. <laughs> that is something I did not know. Teaser number two. And you might notice a little bit of a pattern here. I don't know why I took so long to show any of these, but here we go. Here's another little, little, like another B teaser. That's a lot of bees. What's your favorite 4X and why is it not, I don't know, SMAC or Cult of Power 1? Oh, Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri, that's what it is. Um, Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri, like, there's so many great and terrible things about that game. Civ 2 was my entry into, uh, into 4X games. Um, and so, yeah, Alf, Alf Centauri is interesting, but uh, I, I, I didn't have it when I was a kid. Um, so that's why it's not my favorite. My favorite, is, like Civ 6 is my favorite still. Um, Civ 6. It's... And just like that, pretty quick, we have come to the end of Dev Chat 70, but don't worry, we have our third and final teaser for you. Mike, as always, thank you for continuing these Friday live streams. The community truly appreciates it. I've got two asks for you at the end of this video. I'm asked number one, hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. Hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it. It really does help the channel moving forward. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 45 members that have signed up. Become an instant ARPG VIP and get Patreon exclusive content at the first link in the description. We have a weekly podcast, weekly blog post, access to the VIP lounge so you can talk to me and ask me any questions special title in the Discord, and lots of other goodies based on where you sign up at. Again, first link in the description. And if you're new to Last Epoch and you're looking for a viable build guide for 085F, I have 13 available in the description. Okay, that's all I've got. Mike, take it away. That's a good way to end up the stream. I've got, I've actually got one more little teaser too. I was, I was looking for places to, to slip these in and I just like, didn't do a good job of it. Why is it tiny? Is it? Oh goodness. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, there it is. A uh, little little VFX update for Serpent Strike that is coming in. Um, is there audio playing with that? What? There's no audio playing. 
Well, that's frustrating. I'm sorry. It's got a great new sound effect, too. And the animation scales with attacks. Yeah, that's a big thing. Thanks, game. All right. Oh, let's round, we're we're done, done with time here. I'm just going to round out with a couple last-minute questions as we finish up. What do we got here? Uh, someone else asked this but got lost in chat. I want to know, too, how many chapters do you plan to have for the campaign? I think there's three more chapters. I think there's two or three more chapters more than what's there now. Um, and that's some of that's coming post 1.0. How much for an MTX that turns my druid playing bees into a girl from the blind melon music video i don't know what that is i'm sorry uh and we want to keep things in in world so in um things that like could exist in the world already like we we, we don't want to go too out of universe for things a lot of three more chapters yeah i think that's right all right i think that'll just about do it for us today I hope you had fun. I know I did. <laughs>